Hey friends, welcome back again to this video tutorial with OSP Pro. In this video today, I'm going to be working with you guys on how to use backslash characters. Now we have something very very important in C programming, and that's called backslash characters. The backslash characters are this that enables us to have more features on our program. So, for instance, this is our printout statement. And I'm just going to add here one of us the backslash characters. You get now the backslash characters are very very good. They add more features to our programming language or to our language. So for instance, I want to give a program like this. Maybe print f. That's the first function, and I say maybe uh, hello world. You get so if I save hello world from there and I save. This definitely just print for us on one screen on that first line. Uh, but if I want to print something on differently, like for instance, I simply say print f and I say maybe I love maybe C uh, programming. If that's the case and I say I love C programming and I save the program, if I happen to compile and try to run, which I'll find everything in one line, which is a different scenario on programming. You get so to handle such kind of stuffs, we would like our program to be printed separately. One this one on one first line, and this in the second line. To do that, we need to come down here, or we need to borrow the idea of something called backslash characters. We have backslash n, which means go to new line. Go to new line. We also have backslash t, which means the tab. Is the tab. Like normal tab in your keyboard, and you have backslash a, which means a sum. We also have others backslash b for bold and all those other stuffs. Backslash v for vertical and backslash h. You guys, you can go on for those remaining three and you do them by yourself. Comment down below after you're doing this two backslash v and backslash h. I will be very grateful to see you guys when you comment down below on how to use them on your videos or any other backslash characters that maybe happen not to list down here on this video. Otherwise, I'm going based on three, the backslash n, backslash t, and backslash a, which I may simply say backslash a is for a sound. It produces for us a lot in our keyboard. Get a lot or something called sound. It produces for us sounds. That's backslash a. We have backslash t, which is a tab. We have backslash n, whereby it's a new line. Now, for instance, if you read that's, that's what you have down on your PC and that's what you have, then if you're borrowing the idea, this is what you need to do now. I'm going to generate this statement. If you try to compile this code of ours, you find everything in one line. I may think by you guessing up which kind of backslash character we need to borrow so that you can have this statement on a separate line. We need to borrow an idea of backslash n which will force us to go to new line. Where do we give them? We have three to four options where you can always add backslash n. For instance, I will start by just putting something called printf here as a function and I put the backslash n. If I save this program, definitely it's going to force this first statement to go to the new line and this one goes to the second line. Just this is it. I think you can see it is pushing the two statements to be independent. Also, if you don't want to use the backslash n from there, let me just comment that piece of line of code and I come in here, put backslash n in between. Just after this first statement, it is going to tell this program of ours that please, whenever you see backslash n, please force this statement to go to the next line. If you comment, compile this program, try to run, you get the same output. If you don't want to give your backslash n from there, you can also give it at the beginning of your sentence. So if you try to run this program, you're going to get that. If you also don't want to do it like that, I give assumption that's what you have given there. If I give assumption this same line, you want this one to be in the second new line. You also just provide backslash and in between and there. If you compile this program and try to run it, you'll find that those statements are going to be printed up down like that. Otherwise, guys, I hope you guys you have loved the video, you have watched it, and you have understood how the backslash characters tend to work in C programming. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have anything to comment down, make sure you comment. Now, that's how they add backslash characters, backslash n in a program. For instance, I give assumption you also want to give backslash t in your program. So, we're ready now to add backslash n, so we also have now backslash t. 
To give backslash t, I give assumption. I'm going to say print f, and I say maybe introduction to C programming. Don't put backslash in there. So I'm going to simply say maybe print f, and I say maybe welcome. Maybe welcome to programming. So I've used backslash n throughout the program, but I want this statement to be pushed in the middle here. So what am I going to borrow? I'm going to borrow backslash t. If you put only one backslash t, it's going to push the statement by one tab. Maybe that's not what we want. We want the statement to be pushed more further. So I can always have my backslash t to the number of times that I want it to be pushed in the middle. And I think if you try to see there, your statement definitely is in the media, and now you have that with us. So if that's what you have now, that's it for now. You can also go back here on our program and give backslash t if you want. Let me just give there one for now so that you guys can definitely get to know how the program works. You think you can see? So my friend, I think your console application has been very nice, and I think you can see how the thing works. With the backslash a, which is our last statement, you can put anywhere in the program. You can even go in underneath here and put print print f and anywhere in your program as long as you want to give it backslash a. And trust me, if you try to cross check this piece anymore now after compiling, run, you're going to get a sound. I think you can hear the sound. Now with the backslash t, if you're using Windows 7 and below, the number of times you give backslash a, sorry, the number of times you give backslash a is the number of times you're going to get the sound. But with the Windows 10, it will only give you one sound. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys love it. If you want the source code for this video, please you can comment down below and I go and make for you that file where you're going to find everything in it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I love you all. Make sure you have a blessed evening and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow our videos. Otherwise, new courses are coming up so you guys can only remain updated and make sure you pro enroll for a new program. Thank you, guys.